Shalom. Call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath, that'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. Um, this lesson today is going to be entitled Understanding Words That Needs Be and hard sayings okay once again the title for this lesson is entitled understanding words that needs be and hard sayings okay so in today's lesson we're gonna we're gonna focus on uh uh two words okay and 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 a, and a particular hard saying okay and Lord willing, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. So the first one we're going to go into is this word, brainwash. Okay, brainwash. But a lot of times people hear the word brainwash and automatically they think it's a bad thing. Okay, well guess what? That's one of the words that needs be. Okay, according to the scriptures, right? You have need of being brainwashed, man. Okay, so at the end of the day, this word brainwashed, it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. All right? In fact, it's a great thing. <laughs> In the Hebrew, gadal, great. All right? It, it, it's a great thing to be brainwashed, man. Okay? Because that's in the scripture. You see? And and, and remember, the, 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 the words of the Lord are faithful and true. Okay? Uh, 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 tried as in, uh, in, 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 in the silver, uh, 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 in, a, in a furnace, man, purified seven times, which is a number of completion. Okay, the word of the Lord, we ought to obey the most high rather than men. So this word brainwashed, okay, we're going to get some scriptures describing this word. You see? All right? So it's not it's nothing wrong with having your brain washed, man, scrubbed, okay, <laughs> so to speak. So I'm going to start here in the book of St. John, all right, St. John, the third chapter. This is uh, when Nicodemus came to our Lord, Yahushai, all right? The point is in verse 3, I'll start at verse 1. It says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Okay? It says, The same came to Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, Rabbi which means master, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Right? This is what the Lord answered. Verse 3, and this is the point. It says, Yahweh shall answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, which means truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, okay, born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the Most High. So this, this word, okay, right here, born again, that's, that's literally, you need to be brainwashed, man. Your brain needs to be washed. Born again, you got to put off all that old crap you learned, and you got to be retaught through the Spirit through teachers and through the Holy Spirit, man. You see? You got to be born again. So the Lord said this, you need to be born again. Meaning, your brain needs to be washed, man. You see? So, let's go, go on to the next scripture. I got a short time. I'm on my lunch break. But I want to try to get through some of these real quick. Uh, the next scripture we're going to go to, we're going to go to the book of uh, Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah, um, Jeremiah 51. This is Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 6. It says, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Okay. So this is not, we're not preaching that you have to leave Babylon, even though Babylon is going to be destroyed. Okay. Which is AKA America. Okay. It says, flee out of the midst of Babylon. Okay. And even though you have some uh, precepts will tell you that certain people from certain nations they're going to start to go back to their homelands okay in, in the latter times because they they see in the rightness on the wall okay but this doesn't mean okay for 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 the spiritual man okay those are of the elect that that's that's in babylon 
Okay, this doesn't mean you have to physically fly out. This is talking about fleeing in your mind, meaning to detach from the matrix, man. All right? Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. You see? So, so you won't be uh, caught up in the judgment, man. Turn back to the Lord. Okay, detach from this wicked uh, system. All right? Repent, turn to the Lord, and, and, and detach from the system, man, in your mind. Okay? It says flee out of the midst of Babylon. Right? In your mind. So you, you have to have a change of mind. Brainwashed. Okay? And deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Right? You don't want you you want to make sure that you repent so you don't be caught up in her iniquity, man, because she's going to be judged. All right. It says, "For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance; He will render unto her a recompense." Okay. So judgment is coming, man, to the daughter of Babylon. Okay. And 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 if you have that number of the precious elect, you would have flee you would flee out of the midst of Babylon, meaning to be brainwashed, man, have a mind have a mind change, man, be detached from the system. Okay. Detached from the matrix, man. You see, literally brainwashed. Let's get a uh, let's get the next one. Let's get um the book of Micah, right? This is the book of Micah, chapter two, and verse ten, and it reads, "Arise ye and depart." Okay, meaning to arise in your mind, man. Depart from this from the system in in, in your mind, for this is not your rest, right? Our rest is going to come in the kingdom. Okay, because it is polluted, it will destroy you even with a saw destruction. This place is polluted, man. That's why you need to, to, to depart in your mind. You don't gotta physically depart. You're departing from 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 from, from the matrix, man. You 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 separating yourself, man. Be separate, be holy, as the scriptures say. You see? Being not of this world, as the scriptures say, to love not the world, man. You see? So you detaching from the world. You, you, you're being brainwashed You're having an a, 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 a understanding uh, uh, that, that new man You're putting off that old man And putting on the new man The scripture said to put on as the elect So you, you, what you're doing is You're being conformed to that new man With a renewed spirit You see um, Let's go to further expound on that Let's go right here in Romans This is Romans Romans chapter 12 And verse 2 it says, and be not conformed, right, to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, okay? That's literally being brainwashed, man. Okay, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Literally, literally brainwashed. That ye may, be, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So, at the end of the day, to be brainwashed, all right? It's not, it's not always the word doesn't mean in a bad sense. Okay, brainwashed. That's a good thing, man. Okay, according to these scriptures, you see, the next word we're going to go to is the word hate. Because when a lot of people hear the word hate, they make as if, uh, oh, you a bad person because, oh, they saying you using the word hate. Well, the scriptures tell you how there was a time for hate, man. You see, what is the opposite of love? Hate. You see, there is a time for love and there is a time for hate. Hate only means a strong dislike all right and to water for my brother uh the elder uh yashawamba you know who, who brought that out you know get that understanding through the spirit and the power of yahba shimel shai from the brother the elder uh yashawamba that that the, the, the hate hate only means a strong dislike man you see so this is ecclesiastes according to the bible according to the word of the lord according to the scriptures ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1 it says to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven right jump down to verse 8 it says a time to love and a time to hate so there is a time to hate man a time of war and a time of peace you see it's just it's no going around it man the scriptures tell you that now now that you know there's a, there's a time and a purpose a season <laughs> for every time under heaven is the time for love and there is a time for hate now let's just get into some of these words right quick and these different uh, scriptures. Let's get a few precepts real quick. Let's go to the book of Amos. Amos the fifth chapter. All right. Amos the fifth chapter. Jump in here at verse 14. And let's read that. What does it say? It says, Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have, as ye have spoken. Here is the point. Verse 15. Hate the evil. So you can hate evil, man. All right. It says, the, And love the good. You're supposed to love the good and establish judgment in the gate. 
it may be that the Lord power of hosts will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph, man. Okay, so it's all right to hate evil, man. It only means that you have a strong dislike for it. You see? Hate doesn't always mean that you're about to do something. Okay? Um, verse, let's go to, um, we're going to go to Psalms. Real quick, Psalms. Uh, the book of Psalms, the 97th chapter, and the 10th verse. And it says, Ye that love Yahweh, okay, ye that love the Lord, hate evil. Okay? He, pre he preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. The Lord tell you, man, ye that love him, ye that love the Lord, hate evil. So if you love the Most High, you're supposed to hate evil, man. So ain't nothing wrong with hating, man. You see? All right, it says, "Ye that love the Lord hate evil; He preserved the souls of the saints of His saints; He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked." Okay. Now, let's get up uh, Psalms 119, right? And verse four. This is something King David says, right? Psalms 119, verse four says, "Um, was it that one?" It's another one. Shalaki, let me see. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Uh, uh, it's, it's, you know what? For time's sake, I, I, I'm going to have to quote it. It says, um, uh, Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. And that was from King David, man. Okay, right. I put I put Psalms 119 and 4, but it's Psalms 119 and 104. It says, through thy precepts, meaning the commandments, I get understanding. This is from King David. It says, therefore, I hate every false way. You see? King David said he, he hate uh, uh, every false way, man. Okay? Oh, this is from um, Aleph. Salakia, Aleph. Aleph. All right, so it says, um, so, so scripture is saying, hate, hate every false way, man. Let's go into some of these false ways real quick. I'm gonna get some uh, out of the book of uh, uh, Proverbs, Proverbs, the sixth chapter. All right, beginning at verse 16, it says, These things doth the Lord hate. Okay, these six things doth the Lord hate. Okay, so the most high hate, man. All right. These six things do the Lord hate. Yea, seven are an abomination unto him. It says a proud look, okay, false way, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devised wicked imaginations, man, a false way, okay, feet that be swift to running to mischief, swift in running to mischief, okay, a false witness that speaketh lies, okay, and he that soweth discord among brethren. You see? The Lord hate those things, man. The Lord hate. Okay? So at the end of the day, there is a time for love and there is a time for hate, man. According to the scriptures. Now, we're going to deal with this uh, uh, this hard saying real quick. Uh, the book of St. John. Let's see if I could get through this. Uh, my lunchtime kind of up right now. Lord, when I could get through this. Uh, the book of St. John. A hard saying. When the Lord told, uh, told, he spoke of eating, eating his, his, his flesh and drinking his blood, man. That was a hard saying. A lot of people couldn't get it. Okay. But if the Holy Spirit is rested, rested upon you, you would know he's talking about this word. Okay. Because one of the titles of the Lord is the word of God. Okay. So Psalms, St. John, so like chapter six, and I'm going to start at verse 53. And it says, Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, and this is, um, okay, he was over the Sea of Galilee. And go back up to the top real quick to get. Uh, real quick. Uh, the Jews therefore strove among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Okay, so he was, I'm just trying to see directly who he was speaking to again real quick. So, there were some of the Jews he was speaking to. 
All right? And it says, therefore, I said them, murmur not, okay. Okay, so he's speaking to some of the Jews. All right, I'll start at 53. He says, then Yahweh shall said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat, right? It says, it says um, except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood, he hath eternal, hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. It says, for my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. He that eat, eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I am him. So this is a, to, 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 to a lot of people, even to the people who we speaking to at that very time, this was a hard saying. They couldn't get it. It says, um, as the living Father hath sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat, eat manna, and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. It says, These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they had heard this, said, This is a hard saying. Who can hear it? <laughs> you see? So this is a hard saying. The Spirit got to be rested on you, the Holy Spirit. It says, When Yahweh knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Doth this offend you? Verse 62. What and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before? You see? It says, verse 63. It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So, you have to have the spirit rested upon you to get this understanding, man. And that's why the scripture says in John the seventh chapter in the thirty-eighth verse, he that believeth on me as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You see, at the end of the day, Revelation 19 and verse 13 tell you how the, 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 the Lord, one of his titles is called the word of God. So you it's it's it's, it's just a metaphor. His body is 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 that food, is you know, food for thought. Okay, as they say in the world, food for thought, meaning the, uh, the scriptures, man, the words of the Most High, the Heavenly Father, okay? Yahweh Shai is that, is the word personified. He, he's that, he, he, he is the word. That's one of his titles, okay? The scriptures tell you how, and the word was made flesh, okay? First John, the Salakia, uh, Saint John, the first chapter and the 14th verse, you see? So if you could receive it, all right, he's, he's saying uh, 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 his, 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 his blood is drink indeed and his body is flesh, is 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 food indeed, man. Meaning, remember Yahweh Shai uh, 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 went on the cross was that sacrificial lamb to give remission of sin to the nation of Israel. His blood, man. Okay, he he uh, uh, he purchased he purchased the elect with his blood. Okay. All right. So it's just a metaphor for the word. Okay. So yeah, Lord willing, you were edified. This has been understanding words that needs be. And hard sayings. Lord willing, you were edified. On to the next one. Shalom.